and hello everybody welcome back this is episode 11 I think as you can see I've changed a few things uh -huh. I really want to move these guys somewhere but I'm afraid to let them out because they've gotten out a few times and it's just been nothing but trouble um, I went down and I explored some some more caves I didn't bring much many resources up so it was mostly just to light up the area I tried to isolate the area where I got the slimes from because um, I know I know where I saw the slimes, but that doesn't mean that they spawned there. And it was like right on the corner of four chunks. So if you press F3, you can see... I, I can't move my cursor up. Oh, there we go. Um, over here you can see the X, Y, and Z coordinates. And unfortunately... Whoa, actually it's... It's right on this line. Um, just 80 blocks that way. Or 74 blocks that way. Um... But yeah, so I tried setting up two little things, and actually I'm just going to head down there real quick and see if there's any slimes there. Because I should... Oh! <laughs> and that's why you don't do that. Alright. Um, so let's see. It was... It's a bit of a walk. It's not. It's not too far. So that's cool. I've set up a bunch of stone in this area, and... I need to get rid of that. Just, I don't even have a stone to cover it up with. <laughs> there we go. Just because, like, these would be some nice stairs if it weren't for that thing. So, there we go. I don't like how this is. Okay, this isn't what I came down here for. <laughs> so. Oh, right. Okay. That's that's enough of that. Landscaping is not necessary right now. Um, so it was... I, I made a little pathway of torches on the right wall so I could find it again. It was... I hear a zombie. Why do I hear a zombie? That's not cool. I've lit up a lot of this area. This There was lava pouring down here at one point. Yeah, I marked off the spot where the, the slimes were, but again, that doesn't necessarily mean that they spawned there. That just means that's, that's where I found them. And it could have been a while that they were there, and they just wandered around until eventually I came around. Well, then again, there were several slimes all in the one place, which means they probably didn't wander because they'd wander in random directions. So I found the slimes here. So what I did was I went down a bit and made two spawning rooms. Um, unfortunately, nothing spawned, and this I can't really prove that one of these isn't the spawning area. I can only prove that one of them is. So until a slime spawns in this area, I won't know, because I'm going to make more of these little areas over here. Um, as you can imagine, I got tons of cobblestone, and I had to add another chest because uh, one of them was full up. So, yeah. I've got this little area here. And, oh boy. This is almost too dark. I, I don't know. Anyway. Um, yeah, so... These areas... I'm not sure this is each one of these is a chunk. And I'm not sure which one is supposed to be the one with the slimes in it or it it could be um this chunk over here or this chunk over here cuz the the border between these two should be like somewhere over here. Or no, it's it's right here actually. Um so right here this this block it, this way and this way is one chunk out in this direction, and then out there is one, and then out there is one, and out there is one. So it could be this one that they, or actually I doubt it's that one that they spawned in. It's either, like, because the line, the border is like right here, so it's either that one, or that one, I'm assuming. Um, I mean, I suppose they could have spawned up here and gone down there, but I don't know. 
So let's go back up, and I'm going to try some editing thing here and pause it, or pause the recording, and then pick it back up when I get upstairs. So I'll see you in a couple seconds. Okie dokie. So if everything went properly, um, that should have just gone by in a couple seconds for you guys, or not even, it should have just been an instant transition. Because um, I've never done that before, and there is a pause button on the recording, so let's hope that worked out. Yeah, I replaced this with glass just so I could see outside and everything, because I think it's pretty cool. Um, I like being able to see outside. And it is nighttime, so I will sleep. Um, okay, so... I've talked a couple times about Etho. I don't know if you guys have actually... Well, I don't know if you guys have, have ever seen what he's hit any of his videos, but um, he's great. You should check him out again, if you haven't. Um... It's Ethos Lab. Yeah. Just Google that. I mean, Google it. Search it in YouTube. Anyway. God, I get off topic. Okay. So, um, he made a mushroom farm that looks like it would work pretty well. And I want to try it, but I need to move these guys first. So, I guess I'll dig this way and put them in a room over here. Because... They're not working for me where they are right now. Um, particularly because they like to escape at crap at any chance possible. And I can't really allow that. So, okay. You guys need to come this way. Don't go that way. No, just, okay. Yep. Yep, go that way. Good boy. Now, the rest of your friends, too. Nope. Nope. Stay. Go. Go. You two. You don't, you don't want to miss out on the party, do you? No, of course not. Nope. No. Nope. Bad. Bad cow. Mad cow. Get in there. Get in there. Stop it. Do I have to punch you so you just back up? There we go. Okay. Now I'm just going to chop down these. And... Place them back over here. Nope. Mm-mm. No. Ha! -mm. No. <laughs> I'm better than you. Okay. So now that allows me to open up the room. Which is great, because that's what I've been wanting to do. Um, that little tiny room that I had was not big enough. So, I, I don't know how much I can expand width-wise, just because... Yeah, there's coal up there. Um, I don't know how much I can expand width-wise, like, out that way or that way, just because... Well, that way should be fine. But this way, I've got the edge of the mountain. Oh, alright. I guess if I go in five blocks and I can go pretty far over, because I think it's five blocks from out here to the actual room. Yeah. So I suppose I could go pretty far out. And I might. Because this room isn't big enough. I, I don't remember if I showed you guys that I raised the ceiling. Anyway. Um, so yeah, Etho had an interesting mushroom farm design that I really liked. And I'm going to build that next episode. Um, and this one should be pretty simple. Uh, should be being the operative part there. Um, I, I watched him do the whole thing, and it only took, like, two minutes, maybe, so it really shouldn't be that, that difficult. It's just, like, two pistons with inverted power source from a pressure plate, and that's pretty much the entire thing, so some water can flow down, and, yeah, it's, it's not difficult. So, hopefully, I, I won't mess it up and make it difficult. Um, just placing the torches back so they light up the area a little bit better. Um, I like having my little cows in this pen here. In this style of pen, too. I don't know why. Normally I just keep them in, like, a, a fenced-in area outside, but there's never enough room for them. Ever. Unless they're, like, out in a pasture. Just because it's, it takes ridiculously... It takes a ridiculous amount of fence posts to actually enclose a large area. 
Um, and you end up using, like, three stacks of wood trying to make torches. I mean, sticks to make these things. Anyway, I'm over. So look forward to the um, mushroom farm. Well, it'll probably be on this wall. Look forward to the mushroom farm thing, because I'm looking forward to it. So, woo! It'll be my first farm that I've set up. Okay, so thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.